Hi, this is a quick movie taking you through how to set up the Micromanager software with the Photometrics camera. So the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure the Photometrics camera is working. So you're going to need to come to the Photometrics website, which is photometrics.com, and then support and downloads here. And that's where you can get the uh, Thescon driver if you're going to be using a firewire camera and you'll find the PV cam software. So once you've set that up then you can go to the Micromanager website and get the Micromanager software which is www.micromanager-manager.org and here under downloads you'll find the latest version for Windows and Mac. Um, the latest version is 1.3.46 so you can just download and install that. The, also, the other thing to note is under support here we've got details of all the various different hardware that Micromanager can control and you also get example configuration files so we've got all the different motorized microscopes and so on but under cameras here under PV cam you'll find an example configuration file which will get you started um, which is just there you can just right click and save it save as for that one but once you've got all the software installed we can just open up the Micromanager here on our desktop so as I said I could point at this um, PV cam uh, simple folder and uh, and use that or I can actually create my own configuration file so let's do that if we go there and click OK so if I just come to tools and come to hardware configuration wizard I can set up the camera now and this is also useful because I can set up any other automated components I may want to be using so all I'm interested in adding is my camera so it's PV cam camera Let's add that and call it a cool snap ES2 because that's what we've got here and done. But I could have added in any other components like shutters and filters and so on at that point. So let's just default camera is our cool snap. And as we work our way through there, so let's just give it a name. So let's call this one number four so this is PV cam map four but you can call it whatever you want here and test that so that's all worked that's excellent and off we go so now we've set up micromanager to talk to our camera the first thing we're going to need to do is obviously put an exposure time because we've got zero there so if I put 100 milliseconds then we can go live and there's a lovely image if I move the camera around a bit of the other side of the office there. You can see that the software is already set up to auto stretch here so it's automatically clipping the histogram uh, which is a very useful tool if you're looking at um, low light samples. Then if I want to save an image I can just click snap and then come to file and save as and save it as a TIFF which is nice and easy. Um, the other things to note are to gain access to all the various different camera controls it's under tools and then device property browser here and you can see we've got access to all the things like clearing mode, so at the moment it's going to default to clear pre-expose, whereas I'd rather it went to clear pre-sequence so I could get the full frame rate out of the camera. And I've got access to various different things down here, including the normal or alt normal um, options, the gain levels and so on, and uh, triggers and things like that. But that's absolutely fine how that's set up for me. So let's come back and let's go live. Uh, if I wanted to use a region of interest, then it's just a question of coming up here, setting my region, click on the region of interest tool there and then going live and now I'll just get a region of interest around that section or I can take it back to my full field of view using that button. If I wanted to take a movie then it's just the burst tool here so if I click burst and I can enter the number of frames I want so 100 is fine and I can point it to where I want them to save. You can output to disk or to screen so saving to hard disk or saving in RAM and you can also choose to display whilst acquiring. So if we're happy if I click go and so we're recording our movie and we can see it live recording there which is lovely and you can see it's rolling through our number of frames here and there we go so there's our lovely movie now which I can then pick up the slider by here and play along and you can see I was moving the camera around a little bit and I asked for 100 frames and it's taken just about 10 seconds so 10 frames a second which is exactly what we'd expect and then I can save the movie here uh, I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions about running photometrics cameras inside Micromanager, then please contact your local sales office or dealer. Thanks very much.